if you're anything like me, you probably have a very, very messy desktop folder or downloads folder that looks something like this. Icons everywhere, all type of files, programs. I'm going to show you how to clean this up. I use an application called Hazel. Hazel is $25, but what it is is an automation tool for your Mac that allows you to do some set tasks based on files, based on rules. Now, Hazel itself comes with a lot of rules built in, but you can also make your own. I'm going to show you how to make one that will help keep your desktop and or downloads folder or any other folder you choose. Keep it really clean and organized. So here's how this goes. As you can see, when you launch Hazel, it comes with some rules already built in. So there's things to organize movie, music, pictures, like all of the above. What I'm going to do currently is I'm going to pause all of these rules. Okay. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new rule. So you press the plus sign here and it allows you to create a new rule. And I'm going to call this rule tidy downloads or let's just call it neat downloads. It really doesn't matter what you name it because, well, you know, it's smart enough to know what to do regardless of what you name it. So what I want to do is I want to say any file and that meets this criteria. What I want to do is have it move it into a subfolder. OK, so we're going to say sort into subfolders based off of a pattern. Now, in order to get this pattern, I'm going to do kind and Basically, it's going to sort all of these things into a one particular folder for me on the desktop. Now, what I can do is tell it to ignore other folders, but we're going to leave it just like this for now. And all I want to do is also let me show you something else. If you press down the alt key, you can do some conditions. And you can say in here, you can say the kind is not a folder, right? And then it'll sort of work if you want to take care of that. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it off for now just to show you what happens here. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Now, what's really neat about this is you can come over here and you can preview the rule. See what it's going to look like. So if I press this, it stores, tells you all of these guys match the neat downloads folder. So now, just so you can see this working uh, live action, kind of like the goofy guy on TV. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. And for now, let me check off my other rules because I don't want them to go crazy. And I'm going to unpause these rules. So we say resume. And now, sorry, click the wrong one. I can go ahead and say run that rule now. So we right click this and say run rules now. And as you can see, what should happen is things will start disappearing, moving around, and it's going all crazy, lining things up, letting it work. And what I end up with when I'm done is hopefully a clean box. All right. So it looks like that's finished. Now, all I need to do um, just to make this neat for you guys, I'm going to go say arrange by name. And you can see it put them in a nice, neat order for me. So I have applications. They show up in here. I have Chrome extras. I have disk images. They all show up in here. Any documents, they all show up in here. Other folders, they all showed up in there. So it's neat because it automatically sorts these things. Now what I can do is I sort through them and put things where they need to go or discard them, then it all works. Now, the other cool thing in Hazel is like movie, music, pictures, newly added files, old files, and no longer new files. What, they're, what I'm having these guys do is if I were to download an image and put it directly in this folder, it would automatically change the label to a different color, put it in the pictures folder. It does the same for music, movies, things like that. So anyway, that in a nutshell is Hazel and it does a lot more and maybe I'll make you some more videos to show you all of what it does. But once again, you can pick up Hazel from noodlesoft.com. It costs $25. The download for the free trial is a fully working trial. So you can download it with the trial and test to see if you like it. Uh, so far, I've been using Hazel for, I'm going to say, about four to five years, and it is a time saver, especially when it comes to renaming files. Like I said, if you have any questions, uh, please send them to me or leave them in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't for hit, forget to hit the subscribe button, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, I'm Doc Rock. Thank you so much, and aloha.